This tiny bit of metal is probably the most valuable and most creative thing in my workshop. And yet I have a confession to make to my viewers. Over the years, and I'm talking about since 1974, when I first started using a router, I've collected quite a lot of router bits and some of them have got neglected over the decades. So this short video shows you how I revived some of my bits which were prone to rust in one of my workshops where the dehumidifier got a little bit clogged up with wood dust. I do of course have various methods of storage, some of them in sealed containers from the supplier and some of them uh, portable for on-site use for instance. Now, in January of this year, I had a young Finnish furniture student uh, visiting for work experience, and she spent an hour or so each day meticulously cleaning my router bits. <laughs> In another video, I show you how I built a compact, easy to access storage cabinet for my cutter collection. Well, I suppose it might come as a bit of a shock that a master craftsman such as myself and one who has exhibited my innovative furniture designs uh, over the decades alongside uh, some of the best in my field can let his most valuable assets become neglected. I know there are some almost obsessively tidy woodworkers out there who have hardly the sign of wood shavings on their workshop floor and all the tools are meticulously ordered. Well, I'm sorry I'm not one of them, but neither do I operate in chaos, but usually under pressure to meet a deadline. I know where everything is in my workshop and I only use sharp tools. But yes, in an ideal world, the workshop and tool storage should be planned before you start but when you rely on woodworking for a living, you find you do not necessarily do things in the right order. Well, I hope this video has helped bring a little order into your life and show that router bits do deserve care and attention. Thanks for watching.